next match. Let's do this. GG Zeus versus FX DFW Lunchables. Yeah, man. So Zeus is a... Uh, oh, God, he's playing the Sonic. Yeah. Okay, cool. So Zeus uh, is one of those guys who's got this, this deep character pocket. So does Azer. Shout out to Azer as well. Um, and the two of them are really kind of those guys that are just weird mad scientists of the game that find really stupid things and can really <laughs> abuse it. Like, Zeus is the reason why I hate Ganon forward tilt. Oh, Zeus, get him, homie. Hold that ledge. Huh? Oh, no. If he had rolled up, maybe he, had, he would have had a better chance there because he would have been invulnerable and he wouldn't have gotten hit. But maybe then, uh, I think Lunchables had just enough in the tank oh. to maybe get over the edge. But he's going to be enough to, is it going to be enough to finish him? Look out for the dash attack. At higher percentages, uh, Lunchables has a tendency to go in there with a dash attack because it flattens them out and then they just are too far out to actually come back onto stage. This is really intriguing for me uh, because of the archetype of the matchup. Zeus playing a character like Sonic is really that. quick on his feet. Yeah, that, what did that I call it? You called it. You called it. <laughs> But Zeus playing a character like Sonic is really quick on his feet, but he ha his quickness is basically going to be stuffed out a lot by some of these projectiles that Lunchable is going to be throwing out. On top of that, Lunchable, whenever he's using projectiles, it's generally more airborne, and that's not really where I feel Sonic shines. Sonic really shines whenever it comes to actually transversing the stage from a grounded standpoint. Yeah, and I mean, he does get uh, he, he doesn't get a ton off of grabs, but he, he gets like usually good positioning, right? The things that he likes getting are things like you just saw Zeus do, where he just comes in there, gets him with that, uh, uh, and then jump cancel, like off of side B. And then off of jump cancel, you can do all kinds of weird shenanigans. Like, it, it's pretty dope, but, but you definitely touched on the right point, which is Toon Link's game is really cool because it says, I'm all about controlling the space. And whereas Sonic is all about, let me dash dance. The best way to stop people who dash dance is just control space in between. That's why lasers are so good, right? That's why Falco excels against guys like Mark sometimes. Wow, um, zero to death by Lunchables. That was fantastic. Mm. Getting back into it. Lunchables going on the high ground because he doesn't want to deal with Sonic's really quick speed on the ground itself. Finally dropping down, getting rewarded with that grab. Interesting usage of the down air there. Al. What do you think was going through his mind? Mm. Hey, mostly percentage. He, he wanted to see if he could just apply pressure quickly and easily. Mm, good job avoiding that upbeat stuff. Ooh, the spot dodge. He looked for back grab. He looked for grab to back throw there. Because, I, I mean, he could have thrown Lunchables off stage, and it would have been just another scenario where he sets up for the upbeat gimmicks, right? Oh, Chewie going down with those dive kicks. Still so terrifying, even though Sonic has Oof. great vertical recovery. Yet again, that's going to be another finish there. Right, he's been getting flatlined. Anytime Zeus tries to overx him, uh, Lunchables has done a great job of forcing him off Oh, baby. my God! Okay, so that's a gimmick at. So that's a give a cat. Yeah, well, is that a give a cat? I, I, mean, I, mean, I think we could do the, the, the replay thing. That would be cool. So Launchables is absolutely ridiculous when it comes to his accuracy and precision. <laughs> I, I, I think that goes without saying. Yeah, he's pinpoint, man. He's pinpoint. Um, I, I feel like when you when we're getting into this next match over here, um, we will go over here at Smashville. Good job going in there. And, and, and here's the thing, is that the reason why Zeus goes to the stage is because he wants more more room to run around, right? And he wants more way, he wants a, at least one platform to see if he can avoid those projectiles that we're yeah. seeing coming from Toon Link. And a stage like this, I think, also prevents Launchables from being able to platform camp as much. Like we saw on Delfino's Secret, he at one point was literally on the top platform just waiting yeah. more than anything else, right? And because the platform is moving, it makes it so that Zeus, I think, is going to be able to use some of those jump cancels more efficiently in case Launchables is trying an option like that, given the height of the platform here. Oh, excellent. He, he played a bit of Russian roulette there. He didn't know whenever he was going to let Launchables let it rip. But oh. then jumping into that dare, taking him off the top, that additional height on top of it, sending him upwards. It's not going to be hard for him to get into that blast zone. Ooh, Zeus wanted to go off stage as Launchables predicted it really nicely. I love the counter attacks that we're seeing so far. 52% on that punish. Yeah. 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 I mean, you don't let an opportunity go wasted. Lunchables is one of those guys that he he also makes a, a, just a great amount of percentage game off of, off of a single touch. And uh, while Lunchables is known for this phenomenal dash dance game, it, his punishment game should not go understated. Lunchables is doing a great job of mixing up his recovery options so Zeus isn't able to get one of those forward air games. His offstage gimps and Zeus, we've seen so many times on so many players from Zeus, just haven't really been connecting on Lunchables because of these mix-ups. Well, now you have Zeus at 100% here. He's he's gonna play. He's gonna try to be cautious about uh, about getting hit here. Ugh, but not cautious enough. Not cautious enough. I mean, it was a rough spot. You have all these clocks surrounding you everywhere. Talk, time is ticking, and you find yourself back onto the stage, and you have a little child's sword shoved into your chest. I don't blame you. It's it's kind of scary. Down tilt grab. 
Good jump conditioning him and having Ooh. him run away. That's that's one of the things that Sonic can really excel at is the rush down. Because he has these fantastic speed options when his feet are on the ground, when someone is reduced to the same aspect, he can really excel. Oh, Zeus didn't even need to connect the forward air there. Still going to be able to take out that stock from one to one. That was a fantastic set of strings that we saw from him, actually, to go in and take that stock. There's the setup in there. Yep, the dash attack came again. He guessed that he would be on the ledge and then tech in place, and then the, the dash attack would have caught him. Uh, back Zeus. air stringing into another back air? No. Zeus actually ran away there trying to predict another get up attack from Lunchables, but he was a little, because of that, he was a little too slow on the punish. Down smash from Lunchables is going to be sending Zeus to just one stock here. He has those spin dashes Ooh. on point. He gets the spring as well, but is unable to grab the ledge to prevent Lunchables from snapping back off. That was unpredictable. That was unfortunate. Because if he had held ledge there, that would have evened up this game greatly. But, but now he's going to get done. Oh my god! The, at that time, Zeus, however, was ready. Plants that, that recovery option just in time. The upbeat connects oh. and it's going to be taking Zeus straight to the loser's bracket. Oh god, that hurt. That hurt. <laughs> it hurts sometimes. I I love it. That's super sick, but I, I feel like the, the thing that was highlighted that game was his like Lunchable's ridiculous punish game. Like You're seeing it here. This guy's not afraid to get down there with those down tilts. He uses dash attacks really effectively. He knows how to use the down air in multiple different ways. If I'm not going to catch you with the bottom of it, with increased amount of knockback, that's cool. I'll send you onto the stage, homie. He's got it all. He knows this character inside and out, and it definitely shows. Definitely.